sprinting as the potential of this ability unseen good for what it normally does but that was not his only job it is more than that far more than that it's buffing capabilities the buffing capabilities of thermal thunder Timestamps available in the description below. Feel free to skip to the part that you are interested in. Thermal Thunder is mostly seen as a nuke. It is good for what it needs to accomplish. As I already did some video about how good Thermal Thunder can be in the right hands. But many might not remember that its buffing capabilities are actually not widely considered. Thermal Thunder has an augment called Thermal Transfer. Upon cast, you will gain yourself a 75% elemental damage. Depends on the casted element, which is heat or cold. It might look simple, but there are nuances that you should be wary about, as this might affect your gameplay. By the way, Thermal Thunder is available in the Helmin system for everyone else. Feel free to try out yourself on your desired frame. Casting both heat and cold together will yield completely different results that you might not expect at all. Let's say you modded for toxin, you cast cold and heat. What you would expect is viral heat, but that is not the case right here. It actually gives you gas and cold. Why, you may ask? It is because the priority system that is presented in Warframe called HCET. It dictates which element will be combined first. In short, heat will be the first, cold second, electricity third, and toxin is the last one. Innate or modern electricity is also the same, albeit more friendly. With the rule explained before, you will get yourself radiation cold, which both are excellent against bosses. Gaining more elemental values compared to its counterparts when situation like this occurs. Casting thermal will leave a lingering aura. Teammates or you that passes by will have the buffs refreshed. Standing inside will have the given buff last infinitely until the lingering aura disperse. If you insist on wanting inaccessible combination when thermal buff is active, you can preemptively mod for viral heat and cast both heat and cold. You will still maintain viral heat. But now with the jack up elemental damage or some insane damage increase as elemental percent are typically the lowest in all the multipliers when compared to base damage, quick damage, headshot multiplier, etc. There is just nothing much I can say. It is what you would expect when these buffs are present. Especially when raw also exists and arcanes like arcane avenger or something you desire to push the DPS higher than it should be. And yeah, that is about it. Uh, I should be making the Mark of Death video at this point, it's long overdue. So, see you all next time. Bye!